Martin Cove, martial artist, actor, producer, director. You've done it all. Tell me a little bit about, you know, your career. I'd love to hear about it. Well, one, you know, one doing um, Karate Kid and, you know, you think of it as just a body of work and it's such a celebrated situation, you know, around the world uh, because it's an iconic movie. And today I'm here, you know, experiencing all these wonderful people who, who are martial artists, who... who they kind of put me on this pedestal that I, you know, rejuvenated all the martial arts world back in 1984 when the movie came out. But you think about it, really, it's just a body of work. John Kreese, the, you know, the sensei of the Karate Kid. You know, you, there's so many things that go on. Six years in Cagney and Lacey and doing action pictures like, you know, Rambo and Wyatt Earp with Costner. There's just so many other things that you think are equally as strong. And um, it's interesting how the public reacts to one specific character you know so I'm here just participating and just having a little autograph show but primarily in the martial arts when you made the film the karate kid did you ever in your wildest dreams think that the movie would just live on like until today and 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 keep going because it's a such an iconic legendary film that people still love and embrace did you ever think that that was gonna happen no. I mean, on, on one of these DVDs, it talks uh, as a commentary, a recent commentary we, we all of us put on, Jerry Weintraub, John Abelson, Chuck, um, um, uh, no, it wasn't Chuck, uh, it was Pat Johnson, who was our stunt coordinator. And basically, we talked about being part of an iconic movie, and you never expected a little $9, $10 million movie back in 84 to be you know, a world-renowned classic. And um, it was quite interesting, because while we're doing it, I, I was just thinking of it as another heavy, you know. And a good script, great writer, you know, uh, Robert Kamen and John did a great job. They're on, Avelson directed Rocky and Joe, and you thought it'd be a good movie, but never what it's become. You said you enjoyed working with Sylvester Stallone. And why is that? Well, he and I go back to New York in the early 70s, with Kuno Spoonholtz as our personal manager. And Kuno would get sly jobs as a bar as an usher in the Baronet on 3rd Avenue, and I would become a, get a job at Santa Claus in a department store. It's the kind of jobs he got us. You know, and years later, you know, I mean, uh, we see each other occasionally, and, you know, I'm happy for his success with The Expendables, and it was fun doing Rambo and all that. It was a lot of work, but it was fun doing Rambo. And, um, you know... He's, he's a lot of fun, one-on-one, -on -one, a lot of fun. Martin, what's next for you? I just finished a wonderful Western in an amphitheater in Phoenix, and uh, it was a lot of fun directing it with my son and um, some f a few friends. And um, I really am a proponent of the Western, trying to get some Westerns off the ground. And I really love that genre. And uh, I'm going uh, off to, um, in, in September to do another film in Cincinnati and I actually you know really hope that I could make some of my dream projects two of them are westerns you know have get them realized and have them made because I think we're missing the younger generation is missing that wonderful diet we all had of the western when we grew up you know Martin thank you for the interview I enjoyed meeting you and I want to wish you continued success thank you very much appreciate it thank you. 